Okay guys, welcome to Run the Camp. My name is Daniel, I hope you hear me well. Uh, write me some pluses to the chat and we will start uh, today's workshop. Um, without your... Without your pluses, I will not start. Uh, today we will work with this beautiful image. I will show you my ideas how to build uh, this emotion, this uh, environment, this feeling, this lighting, this geometry, this everything. And uh, I hope you are ready for this. So, uh, this is uh, Corona Render. This is 3D Studio Max and we will work with this. Uh, this workshop will be not for beginners. We will talk exactly with the adult uh, artist. If you already work with um, architectural visualization and interior visualization and you have no idea how to uh, grow your skill, how to make this kind of image, how to make your image faster, that is, uh, this stream is for you. So uh, today I will share with you my ideas exactly about this. <clears throat> Uh, so let's start. I, I think, of course, I will explain you uh, not only technical things, because as you already know, my main idea that is uh, technical skills, not the most important thing in artistic life. The most important th uh, thing that is inspiration and ideas you should Mm, include or put to your work something like this um, so yes uh, I will focus on uh, on the textures shaders and uh, light and shadow composition of course um, but uh, I would like to share with you my idea because uh, this is most common uh, in my opinion mistake uh, that is uh, something really most important, maybe that is really mo most important thing in our artistic life. That is uh, shaders, textures. Uh, it it's, looks like, it sounds like I know everything, but my shaders doesn't look good. Now, I, I should learn a little bit about shaders. Unfortunately, no. If you feel like you should learn something, some how to do more realistic shaders, you should learn lighting. That's true and that's um, really, that's most important point for your, um, enhance your skills. So, uh, here we will talk about this. Uh, but we will start with um, small um, a small explanation of work with the references. I already uh, shared this uh, example with, uh, with uh, a, few, a few workshops ago, but I will repeat it pretty fast. Uh, that was uh, our reference for, I don't know, a few years ago. A few years ago, we found this picture and um, it, this picture impressed us. This is uh, photography of uh, Franz Silvestri architects. This is really sh real shot, real uh, photography. So everything good. Uh, and we um, use this picture like a reference for this project. We build exactly the same picture frontal view, the same amount of uh, white color, the same blue sky, maybe a little bit deeper, maybe a little bit more saturated, but never mind. The same green color and even the same uh, water. You can ask me, Daniel, wh where do you find the water here? Here is no water, but of course here is, yeah, we have here some water in the pool, but we don't see it in this picture. Uh, but we have this glass with this color, we have this reflection with this color and probably this is part of composition and this is really important thing. Uh, as you can see, all the colors, all compositions, uh, probably everything here the same, generally, of course not 
with a uh, beginner technical details. Of course, here is different plans. Of course, here is um, different uh, proportions of the frame. Uh, of course, here is uh, different grass in each project, uh, different palms, different plants. But my, here the same feeling, here the same contrast. So contrast, this is difference between light and shadow. This uh, reference explains us how deep shadows should be because I have, uh, I, I, I know a lot about um, most of you try to make visible information in shadows, but from this point we stop uh, afraid in really deep shadows, really deep shadows without any information. And that, that's how we got uh, these dark parts of the pictures, some these dark, maybe not so dark like here, but never mind. This is just an example. Um, we stop afraid in deep colors and we start understanding uh, which color white we should use, which color of background we should use. We should use cloudy background or flat background with just with a gradient or something like this. Um, and every time we learn a lot when we work with the reference. That's why I want to offer you to work with the reference every time when you uh, do your commercial project, educational project, never mind. Because each of these pictures are a copy of this reference. Uh, this idea can save a lot of your, uh, a lot of your time, a lot of your um, time for trying to find inspiration. Yeah, your daily inspiration because because when you wake up and where you when you come to your office or your desk to to work, uh, you trying to find nice camera position in your frame. You try to find uh, HDRI map or sun position, but you shouldn't waste time for this. You should work. Uh, you should try to find reference. This is most uh, common thing. And when you will find the reference, you will uh, you will um, you will forget about some amount of your ideas. For example, you will not add here any fog. You will not add any clouds. You will not add any people. Yeah, you will not add here any anything else. For example, car parking, I don't know, uh, foreground trees or something else. You have all absolutely ready idea. You know what exactly you should take from this project and you can do the same. Um, I, 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 I know a lot of questions about um, but this will be the copy of uh, somebody's idea. Unfortunately, no, or not unfortunately. No, that's not true because you will take just emotion, just feeling, feeling of warm, sunny summer day. Yeah. And all of these picture are, uh, have this emotion, have this feeling. Yeah. And we take this feeling exactly from here. We take these colors, we take exactly emotion nothing nothing more and that's what you can uh, do with the reference and this will save your time so i hope you understand me uh, the same we um, we may the same i can take from uh, this reference because this picture not built it with the um, with my ideas this is just two hours work of course, two hours without explanation, just me and my max. And uh, from start to finish, I spent maybe a little bit more, maybe three hours with a, with the breaks, with a music listening, with a, something like this. But this is not a week. This is not a two days. This is just two or three hours for doing this. Of course, first of all, 
maybe not first of all, but really important thing that is, um, I am pretty skilled. Yeah. So, uh, I have more than 15 years of experience. I know how to model. I know how to render. I know render settings. I know where I can take assets. I, where I can take um, textures, zero maps, lighting, everything else models. Yeah. Uh, so I will share with you this, but if you are not so skilled, but most of you not so skilled, um, I will share with you my experience a little bit today and I will show you my ideas where exactly I, I can take these assets to. So uh, where I take this uh, HDRI map, lighting and uh, models and other. First of all, I will share, I will share with you this. So the textures uh, here. Uh, cobblestone um, tiles on the floor. I I have two somewhere here. Textures come. Uh, also, we know uh, we have a lot of textures from Polygon.com. Not only textures, models. Uh, no, we don't use models from this site, uh, but but just because uh, we don't try. But here is really good textures. Uh, we use it, we use them, um, and the models and something else is your maps. We, we don't use pretty often these maps, but I know them. Uh, we use a lot textures. Haven't, this is absolutely free everything. If you are a beginner, you can start with this website because here is everything for free. Free is your map, free textures, free models, free everything. And of course, Quixel. Quixel that is not free, but uh, you can take a lot of um, from this site, absolutely official. This is, uh, this webinar not about uh, how to take this from this site, but you can. But now why I told you this? Uh, because uh, um, you can, you will be able to um, to create really nice picture only with a good only with a great asset with a modern asset with a asset from 2023 20, 2022 um, something like this you can't work uh, produce some really good pictures with assets from from I don't know from 10 years old assets Unfortunately, this is impossible. Um, so uh, let's work with this. Of course, I will show you how to model the scene. I will show you how to model fast this scene. Uh, I will show you how to work with the lighting. I will show you how to build this light and shadow composition. I will, I will show you some tricks. Um, uh, so let's start. Of course, I will use absolutely a new scene. I will make it this. Yeah, we will use Corona render today, of course. Uh, last workshop was uh, with uh, Corona and today workshop will be the same. Okay, I will uh, put here this reference, uh, viewport background. Okay, let's go there. Uh, Corona, common. Uh, I will put these numbers to uh, here. One six two zero. Oh, yeah, and this is one. Okay, this is it. Okay. I will turn off grid. I don't need it. Probably here too. Perspective here too. And I will start. I think I will start with a with a just a simple camera, Corona camera. Okay, I will put it somewhere here. Uh, nothing difficult. Um, okay. No, not here. Uh, I will turn on grid for a moment. For a moment, just to make it parallel 
because that's not comfortable to work like this. Okay, uh, so first of all, I should think what is proportion of this building, yeah? I understand the height of this uh, column, this beam, beam, something like two meters, uh, 30, 40, 50, something like this. So uh, the height of the floor one, to uh, 80, maybe 90, not higher. Um, and all other proportion I will build right now. So uh, let's try to do this. Uh, first of all, we should, I will build this shirt line. Oh, no, uh, maybe this window, yeah. Uh, the height of this window. Let's try to do 2 meters 30 centimeters wide. I don't know. For example, I don't know, 30 centimeters. And uh, late, I don't know. I will start with 1 meter. Mm -hmm. I will rotate it a little bit and put it in front of us. Okay, camera is here. Um, okay, camera is here and right now I'll start to do something with this camera because I should have uh, the scale of my scene. So I will build this small, I don't know, small wall, maybe 40 centimeters. Mm, I'm not sure about why, but I will put it somewhere here. Um, I will copy this here because here is pretty similar size, maybe a little bit smaller, not so important because I need to build the same, absolutely the same geometry. I just want to uh, do something similar. Similar will be enough. Uh, okay, I want to turn on checkbox about Automatic vertical tile, come on. Automatic vertical tile, yeah, that's good. Okay, I will put target somewhere here. Uh, I see the top part of this uh, small wall, yeah. Um, what the distance between me and this uh, wall, for example, I think something like 10 meters, it can be for sure. Yeah, so not so sure distance. I will maybe 10, maybe 10 meters. I'm not sure about this. And if I will run, not so big trouble. Mm-hmm, okay, target, maybe higher, uh, yeah, looks good. And as you can see, I want to, to guess the perspective like this. And one more important thing, uh, this is distance between this wall and uh, bottom, uh, next wall, yeah, another side of the building. Uh, what do you think? How deep this building is? I think like 10 meters, 15 meters, not uh, 20 meters for sure. So I will put it in a 10 meters, yeah, I, I check it there, uh, copy, and my next wall should be somewhere there on this point, not no, more, not less, something like this. And I will, and, and the perspective should be acceptable for this situation. Yeah, that looks good. That looks good. Much better, much better. I'm not sure about high of this uh, to 30. Now it looks, looks really similar. So let's, let's try to make it not so close. Yeah, like this, but uh, more than more than 10 meters, I'm not sure. So I will make wider uh, angle. Yes, that's better. And I will put it somewhere here. Okay, that looks good. In most cases, I use exactly millimeters. Okay, 
the high of, of this gate is pretty similar. Uh, maybe... Oh, yeah, guys, I almost forget. If you like our uh, my tutorials, our tutorials, because Rena works here too, uh, please share this uh, workshop. Uh, take some picture with um, uh, with your phone and put it to your Instagram, Facebook. Never mind. That will help us to share our information because this is really important for us. Uh, please do this. It will really help us to share our information. Please do this. This is really important. Hello from Argentina. Hello. Um, so the high is pretty similar, but this uh, the wide is pretty similar too. The deepness is pretty similar. Everything's good, but perspective not. What exactly I can do in this case? Uh, I can uh, move my camera. I think a little bit left. Yeah. And till the moment I will get this uh, perspective. Yeah. Uh, I, I, I will make it more visible, like pink or something like this. Yeah. Mm, I, I hope that's better too to find everything. Yeah, uh, that's good. I will make it longer, this line longer. Okay, of course, this uh, wall should, uh, door should, I should move it somewhere here. Of course, it should be wider, like this. Okay, I will continue till the moment when we uh, build main uh, geometry. Of course, not all because I will take uh, ready geometry from ready scene because I don't want to model a lot. Yeah, but anyway, okay. Till till this moment, I extruded, and till this moment, I extruded one more time. Yeah, that's good. I will extrude it here, and as you can see, we have not parallel, not horizontal lines. Uh, and of course we should fix it somehow. I will show you how, but never mind. A little bit later. Uh, okay. Okay. Here is good. Uh, I will extrude this line and I will, yeah. Right now you can see horizontal line, not horizontal, but because we wrote No, not looks good. Okay, I know how to make it a little bit in a different way. I want to put it here. Okay, I will catch perspective from the different point. Uh, maybe like this. Okay, and I will try to shift. Yeah, horizontal line like this. Yeah, horizontal line, horizontal, perspective the same, window on the same position, so everything's great, nothing difficult. Uh, we cut, we catch everything right now. Uh, let's, uh, let's move a little bit this one. So uh, why I'm showing you this? Because I want to explain you this is not difficult. This is simple. Of course, I pretty skilled. Uh, but you can do the same with a few, um, with a few, in a few hours. Maybe not so fast as me, but never mind. You, you can do this too, but spend 
little bit of time. Okay, I will. I, of course, in the real situation, I should do it maybe a little bit in a different way. Okay, I will move it till this, till this wall, something like this. To be honest, uh, when I model this uh, original scene, I made it in a different way. Uh, but this is not because this is a big secret, be just because this is not important. Your technical skills are uh, really not so important when you understand what is, what is really important. Really important that is your feeling of light and shadow composition. Light and shadow, color composition, like this. Okay, I will delete these lines. And I will put here, I will take this, yeah. And I will connect one line and I will make this corner, yeah. That's good, pretty good. So, I, I will stop modeling this because uh, then you understand you should build the thickness of the wall you should make some roof some detailization blah 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 everything clear till the moment you will uh, build this uh, s uh, this model i will show you some details uh, which you cannot uh, maybe know right now which is really important i will copy all this scene all all this model and i will put it to another because i want to um, uh, delete all render settings or something like this uh, so i i will left them here uh computer i'll put this hold this scene here and i will delete all the shaders of course, and I will show you some, not secrets, I hate this word, some secrets, no, this is not a secret, just, uh, just my tricks to, uh, to show you how it works. Uh, I will delete all light sources. What else? Material. View, let's call it rename basic. Okay, material corona layer red. No, physical. Let it be physical material. And I will put it to all this scene. No. Okay. So uh, interesting uh, things about this modeling, where I took these uh, plants. What is the plants? This is bamboo, like like is uh, on the reference. Where I take, where I took this uh, from the um, Max Three Plant Models Volume Eighteen. Yeah, I don't remember which. Uh, model I take, I, I, I think this one, but this is not important. Uh, you can try this or another, that is not, nothing important, because I, I need just put something on the left side, something with the same color, with the same size, with the same um, power on, of the frame, this is really important things. Other things is not important. What is... Um, important too. Uh, as you can see, I put not only object visible from the camera, I put surrounded object. For what? For shadows, first of all, and second point that is for reflections, yeah, because we will have um, uh, glass on the windows and uh, in this glass uh, uh, these plants will reflect this is really important too, and this is the same. Uh, this is only one um, example of the of the model. Only one. Uh, the model of the house is available. I can I can I can put it somewhere. Uh, just with this model, uh, model of the walls, uh, like because I can share uh, models I buy. Uh, yeah. 
but I can, uh, I can show you, I can share with you exactly model of the, of the building. You, you, but you can make it without my help. Um, all other mm, models, unfortunately, no, because I bought it and this is uh, not my models. I can't give it to you for free. Um, I can I can sell it too. Unfortunately, this is not my models. Uh, so, and one important thing too, as you can see here, we have. Uh, I will show you maybe a little bit closer. Yeah, for example, here this is a cobblestone wall. This is concrete end of the wall, yeah, and concrete beam on, on top of that. So th this means we should use a few different uh, a few different models, a few different layers. To be honest, I build it a little bit in a different way. I will show you how. As you can see, we have flat end here and it connects with a um, with a concrete wall, but this is visible only when we pay attention to this. When we see hold the image, this is absolutely not important. And uh, how it works? Pretty easy. Uh, if you will draw this from the top, uh, you should uh, you should build simple geometry like this and another geometry like this. Yeah, so uh, they will connect somehow in this place and that's all, nothing difficult. If you want to put end um, somewhere here, you can, you can make it, um, I will show you something like this. Yeah, and maybe just single line here. So that is not so important, idea is how to make it this. You shouldn't connect uh, displaces with this, with difficult maps, with a mask. No, just two different geometries and put them together and that's all. This is really not important. Important that is light and shadow <laughs> and I will show you something about it a little bit later. Uh, okay, uh, models inside. Models inside are taken from uh, uh, some furniture website. I'm not sure where exactly, maybe from my library, but this is not important too, because this video, not this uh, tutorial, this uh, stream, not about uh, furniture models. This is about architectural visualization, but of course we should have something inside. So we should have this detailization, we have this uh, information about uh, about interior because uh, empty interior that is terrible. Uh, another thing I saw here um, some interesting detail and I pay a lot of attention to it. For example, this metal element. Of course, on this reference, almost not visible. Yeah, but I see the shadow here. I understand here is some corners, something like this, and I build it. Uh, I see some step here and I um, build this model too. I will show it to you right now. And um, the break between uh, exterior wall and interior wall. This is, I know all of you, most of you, uh, make this with a single geometry. This is a bad idea. Better to make it with a different geometry and cross it a little bit. Um, I'll, I will show you how exactly. Okay, uh, unhide. So this is my exterior geometry. Yeah, as I as I told you, I put this uh, wall a little bit inside to cross it a little bit better. Uh, this is end of the wall, concrete end of the wall. Yeah, uh, you right now you saw a little bit uh, deep, mm, interesting uh, part of the wall. Yeah, this is uh, because I want to have the shape of the window 
but it should be inside the ball. So I'm not deleted, but I, I put it inside the ball. And uh, of course here I can put interior part of the wall if I want, if I need this, but I don't. I, I don't need it at all, yeah? Somewhere here, somewhere here. I, I can make the uh, interior wall, but I don't have interior walls at all. Here I put the uh, chairs. Uh, I already uh, share with you how I uh, put them. Yeah, I always put them manually, chairs always, for example, uh, for example, in this uh, table, yeah, um, I can, I can make new one, okay, for example, I have, this is shape of the table, uh, I will take this chair and I will put it manually, for example, here, I will copy, um, I will copy it the matter with you. Okay. And I uh -huh. no. And I will manually put them uh I will try to put them accurately, but not too much. Like this. Maybe instance for exterior that's not important. So the effect will be like uh, they are um, if like somebody cleaned this uh, apartment but not the perfect and in this case they will look more natural yeah like in real life not mathematical equal. They will a little bit more really natural. So, uh, to be honest, we can start uh, making render. Nothing, nothing difficult, not, nothing secret here. Okay. I will detach windows. Okay. And I have windows on the second floor, somewhere here. Uh, here I don't have windows because I don't need them. One more time, this is fast work to, uh, to understand what exactly I should use for my real work. So I should finish it in a, in a, in a two hours maximum. Yeah, so I will hide this. Uh, this glass because I don't need it uh, right now. Mm. Uh, I think I will delete it because I don't need it to. Uh, okay, perspective. I will go to camera here. I don't need uh, background anymore. I don't need. Yeah, I like work like this a little bit. Uh, so that's good. Here is just perspective. No any light sources. So that's great. Um, let's start uh, doing um, making lighting. Well, how exactly we will do the light? First of all, you should remember the visible light. No, real light, visible light and visible background and uh, reflection sometimes reflection can be different map this is not uh, not a trouble at all but this is big um, give you big advantage if you will use um, additional light source additional hdri map exactly for uh, light and shadow composition. So let's try to do this. I will uh, open render settings. I will uh, lock render on this frame. Uh, what else? Common something common here? No. Yeah, everything is good. Mm, uh, scene. Probably nothing new. Rare single map. And here is really interesting thing. 
I uh, for overcast weather I always use um, um, is the right map like this with it can be forest it can be something else but with the lighted lighting from uh, from top but uh, with the with the greenery on on the from the sides this is really important i will use exactly this one okay uh you can download it too absolutely for free uh okay i will put it here computer run a camp scene uh concrete bumble uh textures this is it 5k so not to, i don't know 16k not 24k for lighting you don't need it at all okay i want put it somewhere here maybe general corona color correction yeah that's better and this is really important so we can start interactive it will start He's thinking a little bit. Why you don't use pure ref software to set work with a reference images? It is fantastic. Yeah, you, I'm using it, but not all the time. Um, I, I would like to answer you a little bit in a different way. Uh, I'm not thinking about technical aspects of the work because I think more about inspiration, about ideas I will put to the project, about, um, uh, about impression. Because Pure Ref, this is one of the tools, but I can produce really good uh, pipeline of the work without almost anything. Uh, I, I need just Max and Corona and I, and my maybe Google, and that's all what I. Okay, come on, what's happened with you? I hope everything is good. You hear me well, yeah? Yeah, my comp works. I'm not sure why why he thinking so long. Uh, I I will close my Photoshop, but probably um, that is powerful computer. I don't know why he's seen, thinking so long. No, any problem, I think. Hmm, never mind, this is a live stream. Something can happen. Why is thinking so long? What can I do with? Which LCD monitors you use for rendering and post work? Um, I have used uh, the Dell 22. In the end of uh, workshop, I can I can check on the back side of the. No, it doesn't work. What happened with you, ba guy? Excuse me for that, guys. I'm not. I will I will fix everything right now. I hope. Now we can close it. P 
PC doesn't want render. Maybe sometimes not responding. Uh, okay, I will. Uh, I think I will close it somehow. How to do this? I never did it in uh, Windows 11. Uh, and task, I think, yeah, and process. Okay, let's do it here one more time. Uh, okay, I, I will do it one more time. Nothing, nothing difficult. Uh, I have a few minutes to answer you. Uh, the problem is uh, not finding the right reference, but is how to build the lighting or something else else just like that. Yes, now, because uh, when you work without reference, you can um, imagine if it's everything in, in, in a one, in a one, uh, in a one time. You want to have time, you want to have, uh, you want to have um, uh, sun, you want to have clouds, you want to have um, uh, perspective, you want to have some effect, you want to ha try some plants, you want to try uh, translucency, you want to do everything. Uh, reference can cut additional elements, additional ideas, and you will work only with ideas really uh, needed in this situation. So that is really important. Okay. Uh, um, I, 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 right now I will try to work faster because we lost a little bit of time. Import, merge, another version to how to do this. No, this is scene, concrete bamboo reference, no, model, no, max, yeah. This is it, open. Right now I will show you how to, um, how to work in a, in a, in a trouble situation because um, this is real situation too. When something doesn't work, this is uh, uh, geometry shapes, uh, I turn off lights, cameras, helpers, just groups, all. Yeah, so this is wait how to clean the scene and I will try to do this. Uh, I will try to save this scene in a different way. I will try to save it generally. So this is uh, part of our daily work. So this is good. I have a problem when I install 3ds Max, it is automatically load downloads the C even when I put this D how to fix that. I'm not sure. I, I have no idea. I just, when I bought the license, everything works automatically. <laughs> when you use license, you have no this kind of problems, questions. Uh, okay. I hope right now everything will be good. Prune scene, start, garbage. I hope everything. Mm hmm okay I will uh, this is new scene so here is no any render settings so I cannot uh, I, I don't need to change to switch it to another render so I can start uh, render from from this point and I will delete uh, I will make new Material for all scene. Okay. Rena replace it. Rename this material. Uh, gray material. Okay. Uh, what else? I will make it not so roughness. Yeah. Okay. And of course, I will make it a little bit darker as usual. This is really important thing. Uh, okay. Let's try to render it. I will not change anything. I will save it to the desktop. No file. Save us. 
desktop blah, blah, blah. never mind save okay i hope everything will be okay right now and we will save we will start the render without any problem <laughs> what can happens here? Okay. That's interesting. Mm, that's interesting. We already have this uh I I will try another thing. I will tr I will check. Uh, absolutely clear scene and f uh, excuse me for that, but we will fix situation in a way. Um, of course, that is interesting, but who cares? Any scatters? No, no any scatters. The first thing I will check that is uh, absolutely clear scene because sometimes exactly software can be crashed. Uh, so I will put here, I don't know, some something like this, some light source and I will check is it everything okay with the software. Uh, Corona. Yes. Everything's good. So, uh, render starts. That's that's good. So, what the problem can be here? Uh, I will hide all the geometry, uh, all all the difficult geometry. I think like uh, plants and furniture because this is not maybe Windows too. Okay. Uh, yeah. Okay. This is not b my build it models. I don't load them. So, uh, I don't know these models. So all other models I build. Uh, okay. Let's try to do this. Um, I will put here light. some light in source uh, and I will start the render. <laughs> I will I will build it one more time here. Difficult situation. I have no idea what happens here. No, I delete all the lights. One more time. No, Corona works. So this is not about, this is not about Corona and this is not about some difficult objects. The, and this is not about scene. Ooh, not responding and task and okay. I, I will switch Corona one more time. While reset, don't say. I like difficult tasks. File, open, no. Okay, open this one because everything is clean here. Maybe it's enabled region IR. Uh, I will check, of course. Uh, but this is absolutely clear. We, we can. 
Mm, we can switch to F Storm and go back to Corona. So we will uh, save everything. Uh, okay. I will put here just for temporary. Um, this is okay. I will. Oh, I, I know. I will build here the simple box and just render simple box to check something. So this is works. <laughs> Very interesting. Have no idea what can it be, what exactly it can be. Right now, I try. I have tried without camera at all. And this is just new builded camera without any settings. I think this is uh, exactly about, this is not about uh, camera, this is about something in the scene. Right now I will try, try it one more time. What can I, what can I do? Yeah. Thank you, Mohammed. I already made this. Never mind. We will fix it, it somehow. Uh, of course, uh, the first idea that is reload my computer, but unfortunately, I can't do this because uh, our stream will uh, stop. Thank you guys, I already made this. Of course I can do this. This is clear scene. Okay, I will open you absolutely new Max, but this is not about Max. What exactly it can be? Where are my crest marks? I can't open it. I don't know why. Okay, this is no. This is almost open. Take your time, you, you can wait. Thank you guys, but you are not. <laughs> I know that. This. Okay, this is absolutely clear, Max, but I a little bit afraid. Little bit afraid. 
to start doing something. Um, what what else I can? Sign render, everything's good. Skyline render. Okay, I will general physical camera. Materials, Krona, Krona physical, oh, of course. Okay. I want to be sure everything works here. Okay. Let's start doing the render. Yes, render works. Corona works. 3ds Max works. If I will build here some new object, new object works too. So I will stop the render. So this scene works. Everything's good here. I will copy all this geometry. Um, Yes, I will copy all this geometry. I already clean it. But I can do it one more time. Okay, computer. Okay, I will save with the save selected to exclude some problems with the computer. Uh, save selected, desktop. And I will put it to scene we know works for sure. Oh, this scene closed. Everything good. File, import, merge, desktop. Yeah, I, I will do this one more time. I will delete all the lights, uh, probably shapes, helper, space props. Bone object just groups, yeah. Okay, guys, thank you about your uh, tries to help me. I already make this first, <laughs> of course. Um, and I will put here just sun. This is one more time. This is simple scene without any SDRI map or something like this. Uh, I don't use camera right now. And everything by default. Right now everything works. Whew, that is some problem. Restart Max. Thank you. Thank you for your ideas. That's great, but unfortunately, I already made it a few times. Okay, guys, I think I will uh, reload my computer because I think this is not a problem with the with the with the scene, and we, and I hope our stream will not. And because that is a little bit out of my out of my ideas, and I'm sure I I have to do this. Um, so uh, I will come back in a in a I think in a delete 3ds Max yeah and start using Blender. <laughs> nice joke. Thank you guys, and I will I will come back in a in a few moments. I think.
So, uh, so guys, here I am. I hope you hear me well. I just reboot my computer, write some pluses to the chat, and I will. Um, and I. Uh, and I will know you hear me well, and everything is good. Yeah, I see everything works. I hope. We lost some amount of people, but never mind the most strongest people here. That was really, that is really interesting because this is real life, why not? And this is not because of our sin, this is not because of our, uh, we are doing something wrong. This is because of 3D Max and it can, it can be crashed, it, it can be some problems uh, pretty often. I'm sure you know this. And never mind, we will fix everything and we will continue and we will finish because we are in a camp. <laughs> Okay. Open present. I will open it because we. So I will try. Let's do it in a different way. This is our scene. Yeah. I will hide everything. I will put here just sim single simple box, and uh, Corona Sun. And I will try to start render. No. <laughs> what else it can be? This is absolutely simple scene with uh, just um, maybe problem with a uh, Corona. Maybe I should switch to another render. What do you think about? try to work with a different render system. <laughs> I will try to do this right now because I'm not happy with the... Where is it? Unfortunately, I can find it. Yeah. Okay. You want to start normal render render instead of interactive. Yeah, normal render works. Interesting. That is really interesting thing. What 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 it can be? I can uh, turn off denoising, but I have no denoising. Uh, I don't have render selected. Uh, I can reset settings. I I am not sure what what else I can do. Okay, I can start render. It is works. Okay, cancel. Let's try one more time interactive. Oh, it start works. But I do nothing for that. Okay. I try to unhide my scene. It start works. I absolutely don't know what this can happens. <laughs> really? Guys, what do you think? Really, I do nothing. I nothing changed. Just re reset setting. I hope everything will be okay. If not, I, I absolutely don't know. Really, because in most cases that is, uh, I feel like 
I feel power because I solve some problem or something like this, but I don't know what is the problem. Yes, I will not stop interactive render because I have no idea what happens. And I'm sure that this is software problem because no any problem in this model because I, that is <clears throat> absolutely simple model. So never mind. It can happen. We lost uh, half a hour. And send, thank you guys. You are with us, still with me. Uh, and this is really important for me. And that means you are people who really uh, interested of things I try to share with you. So um, this is our proportion of the render. Uh, I will. I will change this camera. Oh, okay, this camera. Uh, here is perspective, just like this. Uh, okay. Yes, and I will delete this displacement. I will not de delete it, but I will hide it for a moment. Somewhere here. Okay. Okay, so we will start with this one. Uh, I will take the windows attach all the windows in the single file mm, okay and i will hide them because i will use them with the with the light okay and of course i will stop using this sun unfortunately i should stop the render because I want to add here. Never mind, I will try to do it without any stop. <laughs> um, computer, as I already told you, but I know that was uh, 40 minutes ago. Um, I will use scene. I will use HDRI map from HDRI Heaven, and that will be HDRI map with the forest, because this HDRI map will give me a uh, big contrast, and this is really important for me. Okay, I delete the sun, and as you can see, I already have a lot of contrast. Of course, I will wrote a little bit the this is GRM up, but this will not give me any uh, difference, to be honest, because no any sun on it. And as you can see, uh, there is a lot of details in the modeling with the, with the small details because in most cases uh, most guys don't make something like this in the window window just just not included to the walls um, no any difference between wall and beam so no any uh, gaps here and here so um, in most cases, but of course I made it because I know this is really important and that's why I work with this. As you can see, uh, I already have some small uh, displacement on the floor. Uh, I will turn off it. Yeah, a little bit. And as you can see also, there is a small gap between wall and... Um, uh, and ground because because of displacement yeah uh, okay so um, I will open my reference and I will show you 
what exactly I will do. Of course, I will work right now with a back, visible background, with the color of um, everything I see, and we will go to textures. Okay. Chrono displacement, not now, later. Okay, let's do it later. First of all, we will change background because this is almost half of the picture. So I will copy this HDRI map and I will go to the same folder and I will take this uh, HDRI map with a clean, almost clear uh, skies, this one. This is 16K because this is visible lighting source, so it should be with a high resolution, this is absolutely clear. Okay, I will, I will use general color correction. And I will put it to directly visible override. First of the wall, I should compare them. So they should be comparable. Yeah, my scene and visible background. Uh, and I will add here output, I think. No, maybe not. No, not here. here okay so first of all I will roll my is the right map 19 90 uh, 120 150 180 uh, maybe more to 200 I'm not sure which amount I have used before but this is looks good maybe no maybe like this like this uh so what else of course right now it they are not comparable and th this is too dark and i should make it lighter and something like this so i will go there and i will put here one this year curve uh, yeah, and as you can see, white colors with the modern ACS function, ACES function, uh, doesn't look light. So I, that's why I will delete part of this effect. I can turn off it, but in my opinion, better to use, better to use it, but a little bit not too strong like 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 this yeah yeah um, right now it feels much more natural in my opinion um, yeah like this and of course I don't like this color of the sky that's why I will uh, change a little bit hue here something like this uh, I like um, vignette effect so I will make it a little bit more I will add it a little bit like this maybe I will delete part of saturation because right now it feels a little bit more saturated saturated than I need um, okay that's looks good looks good and I feel like I have to make it a little bit more contrast because uh, before with a full ACS oh excuse me it was much more contrast here is right now is not so
to be honest, without ECS looks much better. So I will not use it in this case. Okay. Um, I will make it darker and I will make it a little bit warmer. Yeah, like this. Maybe not so, but to this direction. And maybe a little bit lighter, little bit. Okay. Um, of course, I understand right now uh, the big parts of the image um, should be a little bit different because, uh, for example, top part of this building should be lighter and I feel this. So, but bottom part should be darker. So I will uh, apply this. But not 255, of course not. Uh, I look to the reference and I try to build the same emotion like this. Yeah, that looks good. And bottom part should be lighter. That's why I uh, always start work with uh, my own shaders. I never use uh, pre-builded shader because they can be a little bit darker, they can be a little bit lighter and they broke ev all the emotion uh, I, I really need. Oh, no, no. Uh, I will put the same shader to, yeah. And bottom part and this wall will be with this shader. Yeah, that's great. Yeah, right now that looks like exactly like composition and this is really important. I will make this middle part darker and color red, more color red, like this. The sky is right now, it's too bright, doesn't feel like overcast, uh, doesn't feel like uh, sunset. It, it should, uh, looks like almost start of sunset or something like this. Yeah, not so difficult, not so strong, but looks really good. Yeah. Uh, we always can compare the reference and the render and uh, compare this emotion. Right now I understand we can make um, a little bit higher exposure. Uh, maybe a little bit darker this shader. Darkest. Yeah, here is much better. Uh, and of course, the one of the most important things right now that is um, this uh, grass, not grass, this um, plants on the left side and the lighting from the windows. So I will build them right now. So uh, select similar and I will copy the same shader and I will put it here and I will use the same shader with a higher, no? Oh, I don't know why, but oh. Brown selected two. I'll copy it one more time. Uh, and I will put this, yeah. 
This is it. So one more time I will add here the same color because this is exactly about um, color correction. Color should be uh, comparable with each other. This is really important. Okay, this color is ready and I will put it to uh, translucency. Uh, I should uh, uh, turn on this checkbox. The, after this I can use translucency so I will put this color to translucency and that's how I will uh, work with, with it I will not add high level of uh, translucency but a little bit lighter like this okay that looks really good here that looks good, here is not, but never mind. I don't want to make it lighter. Maybe I need, maybe a little bit, no? Yeah, that's better, that's better. Front side I will make more like green, but warm green and warm dark green. Yeah, as you can see here. Here it looks really good. More saturated, more darker. And I will delete part of this reflection because right now that is a little bit too... Uh, a lot of saturation kill uh, some part of uh, um, color, of uh, color uh, I have here. So. That's why I should delete it a little bit. Like this. Okay, uh, let's go next. Next is uh, interior part. And I will hide the... Uh, it will give us a lot of contrast, of course, and I will hide these um, lights. So. Uh, glass, excuse me, uh, and I will add here lighting sources. And of course, I will not try to put the lighting sources into the lamps because that is most stupid idea in my opinion. Um, the, the rightest way to work with the um, light inside interior that is built the same light inside of composition like uh, usual interior. Mm, so I will put here maybe sphere maybe plane not so important uh, uh, and one more time from big lighting to small lighting uh, from most important thing to less important things uh, so never start with a something not important in your scene uh, of course I need the shadows here but 90 degrees do you remember I should have 90 degrees between me and my object something like of course not exactly but something like so I will make like this so I want to have shadows here and lighted part here that's why I Okay, and you should not forget, this is not only one lighting source in your scene. That's why it shouldn't be uh, too powerful. Later, of course, you can make it more stronger, but not now. Let and I will change it to color and I will delete some small part of red color because I don't like the red color in the lighting. I like more yellow. Okay, and I will copy it here because I want to have some light in here too and probably I need, I need a lot of light in here. As I remember, I uh, have used uh, in original scene spheres. Maybe 
spheres will look better. I'm not sure. But never mind. The most important idea that is I should use not only not just put light in um, I don't know on the on the table where I have lamps because that will give me strong and not nice lighting. Better if you will make something like this, yeah, really. Okay, and I shouldn't be afraid of uh, overbrights because I will work with them later uh, and I will delete them somehow. Right now that is not so important, absolutely not important. Okay, that's good. And of course, uh, color of the light shouldn't be the same with in the each object. This is not. It works in a, not works in this way. Um, I will put some sphere. On the second floor, yeah. And it will be really big sphere because I want to have uh, not. Uh, if I will use small sphere, like for example this, of course with a with a big intensity, I will have sharp shadows like like this. But I don't want to have sharp shadows. Of course, uh, huge amount, but. I don't afraid of huge amount of intensity. I afraid of sharp shadows because this is not important because in this case I will have a lot of attention here. I don't need attention here. Most important object here that is house, not this uh, I don't know terrace or balcony, what is this? Uh, so I will Do something like this. No. Like it was in the beginning. In the beginning it was really good. Yeah. And not so strong. Like this. That's really good. Okay, right now you you know what I want to uh, the the sky more saturated than interior part and I I don't like this to be honest so that's why I will reduce saturation from the background because it it takes a lot of attention and I think I will no no. I want to add here filmic mapping, uh, rich shadows because a little bit not enough of contrast here. Yeah, like this looks good. Um, this color looks little. Ah, yeah, I don't have any color correction here, so I will add it. to the real lighting and I will reduce okay and I have some maybe not secret but you should be really very accurately but this I will show you something right now but you sometimes you can uh, RGB, I will turn off everything. Uh, I see a lot of red color here, so I will reduce a little bit of red color. Yeah, that's better. That's much better. Everything is good here. Maybe more? No? No, that is too much. That is not enough. Yeah, that's good. Okay, I will uh, make the second floor 
little bit lighter. Not so saturated. Yeah, that is a little bit more natural. Yeah, that looks really good. Uh, what else? Um, I sh I want to have some uh, lighting here because I have it on the on the reference rectangle somewhere here. Of course, it will be not visible, but I will see the lighting after this lighting source. Something like this, maybe not so powerful, maybe a little bit less. Uh, so what else? Hmm, less power. Okay, uh, visible directly uh, and occlude other lights to get no shadows of the read. And maybe a little bit stronger, no? Yeah, that will be better. Oh, okay. And of course, I to be honest, I don't like the little bit red color. Uh, not red, like green color inside this light. So I will change it. Uh, but I want to have here a little bit more saturated. That's why I'll, yeah, like this. Uh, and I will uh, visible directly, okay. And I will copy it here to make some light in, in here. Okay, nothing difficult. Uh, what else? Probably only one lighting source. I will copy this because I light, like this color. Um, and I will put it, uh, of course, I will change it to uh, rectangle. I will use target. Uh, okay. Of course, not in this position. I will put it much deeper because I want to have this light in, yeah, exactly here. Of course, not on the ceiling because that is not natural, but maybe I will roll it a little bit in, in, in this way. And I can call it, we are sculpting the light. This is not, uh, we put in light sources. No, we exactly sculpting. And this is, uh, interesting way to think because uh, in really in this moment you start being an artist not just um, uh, I'm a visualizer no I am an artist because I'm sculpting with the light and this is in my opinion this is much more interesting to be an artist than uh, visualizer I'm sure that I, that sounds more expensive I think and, um, Okay, I will try to work with the temperature. And I don't like this color, so I will change. Yeah, that's better. Maybe not so, but... Okay, so that looks really good, uh, and that's how we got them. Uh, this this feeling, maybe not absolutely, but this is right now that is much better. Right now, I understand that I should have more light in here in the middle of this frame. Yes, yeah, so I can make it a uh, little bit lighter, and I can add some vignette. Yeah, so it can makes some sense here. So I will add more shadows. I, of course, I will uh, re add some compression to the lead over bright somewhere here. Uh, to be honest, I don't am afraid of over bright, but uh, these over brights really, I, I don't need them. 
and if you have some overbytes, you, you can think, okay, which uh, option I can use? You can option intensity. You can reduce your intensity, and in most cases, it can help you to uh, delete some part of um, overbrights much easier than any other option, yeah? So right now, that looks much closer, even closer than before. So um, this is another way to think, yeah? And one more time, this is not about some technical options. This is about way to think about your work. Uh, so, what else? What's next? Uh, I will make this um, second floor a little bit lighting, lighter. Maybe like this, yeah. That looks good. Uh, uh, to make it lighter, you know, the lighting always work with comparing, yeah? Compare, I always compare this color with surrounding colors. So sometimes better to, um, uh, to make this color darker. And in this case, this color will looks lighter sometimes. Of course, and, and I will change color of this furniture because all this furniture should be white. Maybe walls should be white too. I'm not sure, but I will make them later. Okay, and then I will copy this shader. Maybe not so, yeah, because I don't want to work with over brights. I'm looking just on the on the left on the right side of the picture because left side should be with a wood. And I will copy this one and I will put another shader exactly to this wall with more wooden effect. Yeah? Yeah, that looks good. Uh, here I should have something like a uh, wooden shelf, so I can put here some, the same texture, the same shader, the same color. If I have here some special geometry. Now, okay, I will add here some connection and I will paint just this part of the interior. Yeah, that looks good. Much better, much better than before. I want to take this color and make it just more saturated because I want to get more attention here because this is a little bit about balance. Okay, and uh, maybe not the last, but one more important thing that is glass shader. I will copy this shader, basic shader one more time. I will put it to this geometry uh, and I can, I can, where is refraction? Yeah, this is it. This is here. So my roughness shouldn't be so strong. Yeah, I will make it just like this. Maybe if you want to get a little bit more reflection on the window. Uh, oh, oh, yeah. And here you can see the 
in reflections you can see previous uh, this uh, HDRI map. Of course we should work with this reflection so I will put it here and in the refraction somewhere there not important not so important but I will put here uh, the same as you arrive with a visible sky it will be much more little bit more clear like this so that is that is a little bit better I think uh, to be honest I don't like so light uh, furniture inside so I will go inside Where is this? I will copy this shader and I will uh, apply another one to the furniture because I want to make it a little bit darker. I will put them to the group. This is new, yeah. Uh, and I can reduce a little bit level to make them a little bit more, yeah, not so uh, stronger. Yeah, that looks good. Okay, uh, I will take this sphere, another, uh, another one too. Looks like it is scaled. No, but never mind. Um, I will put here the same glass shader and all other geometry I will make like usual metal. Uh, Maybe darker. So I never ask myself um, uh, how, uh, what is the best settings of the metal. I always try to work exactly with the picture and how the, uh, what the options and what is that settings I should. Uh, work with uh, exactly for this frame because right now I understand this metal should be dark and who cares which amount of um, darkness uh, of uh, I don't know reflection I should use in the usual situation because in my situation I should make it darker so I made it that's all and of course I unhide uh, this and I like what I see of course I will turn on bloom and glare and I will uh, reduce size of maybe three something like this that looks good um, of course I will add some sharpening sharp amount radius 0 0.5 that's good radius and yeah uh, this is our previous camera and I should show you something because we have small amount of um, that all depths of field already I always use small amount of depths of field of course on the foreground um, the target is uh, somewhere here so 9.8 so on the on the facet but uh, foreground I blur a little bit but little bit like millimeter maybe two maybe something like this but not too much okay so the time is add displacement to the to our scene we already have it so uh, I can add it here chrono displacement yeah 
I have displacement somewhere here. This is from Textures.com. I will show you. Uh, I will show you. I I I think this. I I will try to copy this name and try to find it uh, on the Textures.com. Yeah, this is it. Uh, this is shader from Textures.com. Nothing difficult. I found it here. And this is really good. This is just displacement. And as I already told you in the beginning, um, I will show you this corner. I have made it in this way. No any chamfers here, nothing difficult. This is just one box, this is another box, and uh, I just unwrap it, but this is simple, three polygons unwrap. This is absolutely uh, simple everything. Uh, I, can, I can show you how to make this if you want. Um, I, I can copy, convert it to double poly, and I can put it Open UV editor, but this is absolutely simple and wrap. Yeah, mm, nothing difficult. I, I change it manually. Uh, I can show you how to do it. I will delete or map all mapping. I will put it like, uh, like this fit, uh, then unwrap, open UV editor. So that is simple example. Uh, I will usually I make quick peel because it help save a lot of time for peel it mm, uh, manually. I will just wrote it. Oh no, I, I just wrote it. I I don't try to put it ma uh, accurately. Just like this and I scale it a little bit to make the stones a little bit bigger, smaller. Probably that's all. This is absolutely new uh, mapping for this um, geometry out of backup in process. Everything's good. That was, that was terrible. How we lost 40 minutes of workshop. That was so Stupid. Okay, and I will paste. Oh no, um, Chrono. Okay, it, I I save editable poly instead of displacement, but never mind. Who cares? Oh, uh, do you see this? It is scaled a little bit, so this is not comfortable to see. Mm, um. I will rescale it. This there, no, not this direction. I'm no, not this direction. This direction, yeah. Right now it looks more natural, and I will scale it. Maybe not. This is too much. The rocks should be bigger. Yeah, uh, right now that looks really good because the end of the rock, it's uh, so the walls will end exactly with the rock. I will try to change it. Yeah, right here looks much worse. Better to find nice uh, flat line like this and try to to put it yeah 
right now looks good bottom part not so important because everybody understand uh, be, be, um, behind this wall we have foundation so uh, the wall not begins on on the tiles so that's why bottom part not so important but top part everybody understand uh, rocks not goes through the through the beam so that's why we should work with this uh, to be honest, that is the most important thing because all next step that is pretty simple. Um, we already catch the main feeling and that's why I try to explain you not the shaders most important thing in the, uh, in the render. The most important thing that is feeling that is emotion that is light and shadow composition and that's why you should work exactly with it um, uh, uh, shaders if you have this feeling you will get nice result with a simple um, shaders with a simple geometry and to be honest with a simple everything uh, but never mind. Let's uh, make a few shaders like, like, um, for example, this one. I will. I always copy uh, the shaders because that's more comfortable to work. Maybe the same shader on a few different objects. Uh, base color, Corona bitmap. We already have this color, so we have no chance chance to um, lost something. For example, color correction. It, we should be st stupid to to lost it. Large. Uh, So this is it. Okay. So the color looks good, but to be honest, a lot of attention on it. So I will I will mix the base color with the um, uh, with the um, with the texture. Like eighty percent, I'm sure that will be enough. Yeah, that's a little bit better. I hope you see the difference. If not. Try to do it without my help. Um, another one that is wall. Of course, I will change this shader. I will delete previous one and I will apply the shader only to the walls. Reason the same, because I I have used this shader not only for this wall. Uh, beat them up. Uh, textures. I I think this is it. This uh, these tiles from textures textures com two. But no. I don't have here, uh, probably I don't see here uh, diffuse texture, so I will copy and I will try to, yeah, ah, we have this uh, here. I will download biggest one because this is really important texture for me. This is 30K um, textures, Albedo, replace, no, I have it. And I remember that is huge. Ah, because this is not teeth. Yeah. This is it. Uh, 
yeah that's good and of course i will work with the output with the color correction and i will mix uh, and I, I i will delete some part of reflection because for most colors of course i need some uh probably high level of reflection but not here it should be dry rocks yeah this is better uh what else uh, i will use just part of this like this okay and i will change um uh, i will make this wall lighter but with a with a curve because the lightest point and darkest point in this case will be in the same level this is really important did you say 30k yeah 30k texture i can show you one more time this is 30k per 15k exactly Because, of course, for a fast preview render, we have no possibility to see the difference. But when we will render uh, something like 10K render or 5K render, it will, be, it will be visible. No, that is too light, of course. And, of course, we should add here color correction. Because, uh, because of saturation, we should reduce some level of saturation maybe more i think more maybe half no that looks good maybe a little bit not little bit, maybe more amount of texture because not enough. Yeah, that looks better. Uh, so what else? To be honest, I want to add here curves to uh, make most darkest parts of the picture darker. like this not so strong but it will gives me more I, I like contrast pictures that my uh, that what what I like so excuse me okay what else probably nothing 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 for now um what else uh of course some contrasts corona we can try maybe not so strong yeah in this case yeah these curves should be not so strong in this case Of course, it, uh, this depends on your taste, because some of you can love contrast, some of you not. It depends. Um, so, what else? Probably the last shader here is a uh, uh, really important shader here. That is this concrete. I will put it... I will put it here. Corona. Oh, uh, I will copy it one more time yeah base color corona corona bitmap yeah that's good i think i i want to make bottom part lighter because it's a little bit st too strong and that was this shader yeah texture this is from textures com 2 i will show you this is i'm not sure this is exactly concrete texture but I found it exactly on the texture scum. And I will put it here. Of course, that is a little bit 
uh, not so accurately, but I will I will add here output. Of course, I will make it darker. You know what? I think um, this problem with the uh, with the file with with uh, with the uh, with my scene uh, in the first part of a workshop was uh, with with the license because maybe uh, Cow's group checked my license and. Maybe it doesn't, it, it take time. Maybe I have just an idea. Maybe not. I will delete some part of, of the color here. And I will make this light, this shader lighter. And this is a little, little bit lighter. One more time. In this case, I will get... No, that is too strong. Don't forget to save the scene. I, I'm not sure I need it because I, we all, almost finished already. So I will go there and I will make output for this shader lighter. And for these um, tiles on the floor lighter too. Yeah, that's better. Yeah, that, in my opinion, that's be better. Maybe a little bit less, little bit like this. And of course, I will delete some part of saturation. Okay, I like this, but uh, not enough difference but here, of course. I already told this uh, one more output and I will put it here. Let's change the curve shape and make it lighter. A little bit, of course, not so. Yeah, like this. It uh, it it can give us possibility to make whole image more uh, lighter, more. Uh, full of this light emotion yeah so I I think that's ready of course maybe some small mistakes we made but this is really not important because uh, the main goal not not to create this picture uh, the main goal is get the emotion uh, got the scene got the main um, shaders uh, lighting sources, of course, main uh, some elements, maybe, um, I don't know, trees, maybe plants, maybe something else to build your future project. Because right now into this scene, you can put 
all your real scene, your your real um, work, uh, real scene for real customer and take all this shader and use all these lighting sources, use this composition, uh, use everything from this scene. So that is uh, my main idea. So let's try to render with a three pair um, um, two resolution. I'm um, uh, I, I'm sure that will be enough. Oh, no, I will cancel it and I will add here denoising Corona high quality in the in the end. I think that will looks really good. Um, so I have started this render and I think I will do uh, a few tricks with the post production. I will small things not important to general image but i i want to show you this because it it can give you some advantage some advantages yeah um absolutely not so not something difficult so let's wait a little bit and right now before i will answer all your questions and i will show you how to uh, and to show you how to what exactly I will do in the post production, I would like to um, uh, share with you information about our course. I'm sure you know we are Rene Camp. We are one of the best, uh, probably, um, uh, companies in the world who uh, can teach you uh, to do really good professional level. Uh, commercial architectural visualization and we have our own course about uh, about this this it called professional visualization course number 9.1 uh, 9.2 uh, we work with um, with the professionals on this course because um, we divide our knowledge uh, between beginners and professionals. Professional, we mean uh, the people who already work with the computer graphics, but don't get these kind of images. These images are uh, final pictures of our students. All these pictures are made in uh, by our students during course not after not before exactly uh, during course so of course all of them with the come to us with a different level some of them higher some lower never mind this is all works uh they finish it you can uh see more works with the different courses here because here is much more uh of works of our students and probably um uh, actually, we have no chance to show you more, but this is nine, uh, 8.1 and uh, this is uh, just one year ago. So, um, uh, and this is not, of course, not all the works during year. So, uh, we, unfortunately, we can't show you all of them because that will, it, it can make our website too heavy. Uh, but all of these works are made in during a few last courses. Uh, so, what happens on this course? We talk a lot about different situations, different scenes with a, a lot of lighting, with much less of lighting, with, with the interior and architecture, first of all, of course, with the daylight and night light, with the underground uh, interiors and with a uh, interiors with a huge windows like I don't know some some something like this for example uh, of course with um, small windows unfortunately here we don't I think don't have small windows but without windows at all like this uh, with the black interiors and with the white interiors we work with all of these and all of these we do live so 
this is not only pre-recorded videos of course we have some part of pre-recorded videos but this is just a part of us uh, this is a um, common lessons but most interesting lessons are uh, they are live on online of course but they are live and we have we will meet three times a week monday wednesday and friday monday wednesday and friday uh, in in the evening like like uh, today at, uh, at 7 p.m kiev time and we spend something like two sometimes three hours uh, on for the lesson some some sometimes less than one and a half hour and um, uh, we have some another lesson uh, we called it after party on this after party part of the lesson we talk a lot about additional things of architectural visualization about business about uh, some technical details about everything uh, around architectural and interior visualization life so all of this for professionals all of this for guys who already know how to build the walls boxes how to import models and etc this is not for beginners uh, this is for professionals but for professional who doesn't know who don't know who how to make this quality of images of course most of all we work with a light and shadow composition with a color composition uh, we do a lot of lessons for this uh, we produce a different um, situations about architectural and interior visualization generally that is 15 lessons um, unique lesson uh, during five weeks we meet three times a day and one of the most greatest advantage of this course i will give you my feedback daily so every day you will get my feedback about your work my own feedback about your own educational work so if you want to uh, enhance your skills welcome and for you guys who uh stay with us till this moment we will give you a special offer uh, for a special price for this course um if you will give uh if you'll apply uh and left our uh, left your phone number we will call you tomorrow in the working hours of course and we will produce you special offer special price offer for this course so if you want to join us uh the right now the best time for this because later uh, because later we will give you not so comfortable not so good um offer later will be later that's why it works in this way so if you still thinking uh just watch this picture all of these pictures um if you want to be able do pictures like this join our course you will grow your artistic level this is exactly about artistic level not about technical skills because i know most of professionals know everything about settings everything about light source maybe not everything but if you if you don't know everything we will tell you but most important thing for us that is uh technical skills not so important as artistic skills we will grow your artistic skills exactly so your pictures will look like this so that's all um about our course uh let's go back there to be honest uh 25 uh, uh, passes I'm sure that's enough. I will stop the render. Denoising will clean it a little bit, and I will, um, uh, and I will go to post production and uh, work a little bit 
with this scene. Uh, okay. Uh, model build the scene using ready-made models, uh, pre-recorded lesson and other team support. What do you mean here? I think we'll get some little help to build the scene. Of course, we have, first of all, we have ready lessons about how to build the scene from the scratch, about how to set up, cam how, where you should put camera, uh, how you should build your general scene, like walls, something like this. And of all the models, you will use ready-made. You will not model windows, uh, furniture, plants, no. You will use ready, um, ready models. Like in real project, we are... Um, we, uh, on the professional visualization course, we understand your um, goals on the real work. We understand you don't uh, model your own plans. That is absolutely stupid to uh, teach you how to model plans if you can use ready. This is exactly about professional everyday work. Uh, how to, for example, uh, about today's picture, yeah? Uh, if I um, accept, if, no, if I delete all my explanation from this workshop, it can takes like one hour. During one hour, you can build this picture, really. Uh, another time you should um, model your own geometry, like your model of your architecture and put to this scene, that's all. How long uh, you will work with this scene? Something like, uh, I don't know, half, half of the day. Okay, maximum in the end of the day or next morning you will have ready render. So that is our goal. Of course, um, uh, after some practice not next morning after first lesson of the course of course not after some practice but this is our goal this is most important thing i don't like this over right here so i will delete it with a uh with this option and i will maybe add some sharpness This is really looks good. Oh, uh, I forget about the opacity here and shader here, but never mind. Uh, you can you can do it without my help. So that's I will I will copy it here, and I will put it to a post production. Uh, the lesson will be delete this. We will save it. Of course, I understand we uh, lost 40 minutes, but really, guys, that was real situation, real scene, real problem. Problem. Uh, this is really important in, in the render camp and in our course. We are not working with a special pre-builded, absolutely perfect situations. No, because we are the same uh, architects, probably I am the architect, and I produce uh, the same uh, pictures as you. And I know all the problems, all your problems, because I work with this type of problems every day too. Uh, only one advantage, my advantage, that is, I am a little bit more skilled than most of you guys. And because I work with the architectural visualization 15 years, 15, 16 years, since uh, uh, 2006, 2006, so already, yeah, already 16 years. So just, this is just uh, my experience. And I will share with you real experience and you will use it every day. Okay, so not so difficult. I will put here, I will duplicate this layer. I pretty love this effect with a soft light. Of course, I can um, uh, delete some part of saturation, but in this case, I don't need it. Yeah, I can leave. If you want, we, we can use it too, of course. Okay, I can use it here. Nothing difficult. 
little bit like like this and i will duplicate it one more time duplicate it here okay and i will uh one more time soft light and i will add other high pass with uh, some big okay for this case i will desaturate it and of course i will compare them yeah and i will make it not so strong this is like sharpness but little bit in a different way so that's all uh that how it was that how it become so this is everything i want to do because unfortunately no any uh no any idea how to make the same uh with a with a in, in inside uh 3ds max better and faster and much more uh in my opinion much interesting here without any problem so this is it for today guys um right now i am ready to answer all your questions um let's start let's start doing this uh uh, please, uh, if you wrote some question before, please repeat them because I am not sure uh, some some of this question I already answered, some maybe not, but if you still have some questions, please uh, repeat the, them here. And yes, one more um, One more thing, please guys, share this workshop with your friends. Send uh, this to your social media, social network, uh, maybe stories, maybe something like this. It will help us to share our information because this is really important for us because we hard work hard and this is pretty new market for us because we work uh, already uh eight years on in in ukraine but right now half of year uh we change language of our speaking to english language and we uh should get new auditory um so please share this video with your friends that will help us to grow our company uh in the, in a new market thank you guys for this um and we will uh, do more and more lessons in the future. Thank you for the tutorial. Thank you for coming. Uh, good job with uh, staying calm through the problem with the scene. That's where you ex experience showed up. Someone else would break the computer lol. Uh, no, I, I never break because, you know, I, I, I know this is a usual situation and in most cases I should think like wh Why I'm stupid? What is the problem is? What is the problem is? Uh, what I don't see because in most cases this is uh, exactly com exactly me like per you like like person uh, doesn't understand something and I should find my mistake of course if computer um, do some mistake uh, he will fix it pretty soon after reloading for example like today but if I miss something I should um, find the way how to do this and to be honest I like this situation when uh, everything not quiet if I um, found some problem, come across some sim some difficult situation, because in this case I can show you how you should, uh, what exactly you should do in the same situation, how to solve this. And to be honest, two and a half hour, two and a half hour from the scratch we start and finish the scene. And I explain a lot, I talk a lot. Uh, because this is really important. Uh, so thank you. Thank you for that. Uh, I am not from Mumbai. How I can join the free webinar? How, how can I join online? Welcome. You are online right now. <laughs> uh, 
um, I'm a future 3D designer and I want to enroll your course someday. Should I go with a beginners or professional course? If you want just start, uh, better with the beginners, of course. But if you already know something about architectural visualization, you can apply and uh, you, we will call you tomorrow and we can answer your question. You can explain your situation, what exactly you already know, and we will um, we will try to help you understand what is the better for you. So don't be afraid, uh, nobody will kick you. We will answer all your question, and if you will decide join our course, we will explain you how. Uh, do you still teach uh, F-Storm? Yes, I work with F-Storm to one of the brand, my render systems. Uh, I struggle with what light I'm into light. I'm not sure I understand you, uh, but I will try to one more time, one more. I already translated by, but I'm not sure what exactly, maybe struggle. Yeah, struggle. But I still don't understand what exactly I should answer. Make some question, please. Thank you for the great tutorial. Thank you for coming. And I hope see you soon next time. Uh, tell me about your monitor setup. Uh, you told Dell monitors, which model do you have? I will check right now, one second. Uh, I will take my lighter. I will show you right now. 2722D. This is my uh, model of my display. Uh, okay, how ca hi, can you do a tutorial for a scene that include environment? Uh, tell me please, interior or architecture? Because some not so long time ago, we have made, uh, I will show you uh, this, uh, this tutorial. So this is um, cold light, cold fog light warm light so you can watch it and this is English language too so you can uh, watch it here okay so uh, really nice and uh, valuable tutorial I hope you like it thank you uh, good job man you really do a great job in workshop thank you thank you so too uh, what about late dinner with me Oh, yeah, maybe something else. Uh, how long does it take to learn? This is my wife. <laughs> she, she is here too. Uh, honey, I'm almost home. How long does it take to learn Corona Render? And should I start learning with the Corona 9 or lower version? Of course, you can start with Corona 9. No, any problem. How long does it take? Uh, to learn Corona Render. You shouldn't learn Corona Render, to be honest. You should learn how to do uh, nice pictures. So your goal should be not the tool. Your goal should be um, uh, final result. You should understand your final result. This is most important thing. And uh, Corona Render, this is one of the tool you will really need. But one of the, and this is, you shouldn't know everything about Corona Render. You should know just uh, um, 
things you really need to uh, enhance your render or do your render. Uh, how long the album? I already answer. Uh, when I, I download the final render from 3ds Max, it lost some quality. How can I return it? Um, I will show you. I tried a lot of things to do. Uh, I changed gamma of my display. I have changed uh, a lot of things, but then I try to work with uh, uh, with this. This is thing to calibrate my display. Uh, and when I start uh, do this, this fix my problem. So this is because uh, what do you see in your color profile doesn't match with the color profile of. Uh, uh, for example, JPEG or PNG. But if you will calibrate your display, this situation will gone. Highlight and interior highlight. Uh, sounds like you want to say something, but this is not a question. Highlight and interior light. Hi highlight. I'm not, I'm not sure what does it. Ask me something, please. Make some question. Uh, could you share with us some websites about cutout people and animals? Yeah, of course. Uh, first of all, uh, oh, oh my God! In, in the last moment, I forget all how how I can write it. Um, cut. No. One second, I, I should remember. Uh, I forget. I forget. I forget. Oh my God. Not grasshopper. Something with a hopper. Okay, I will. Uh, no, this is not, I, I, I don't know this website. I never use it before. Brr, just lost idea. I, I, I will try to remember and, and maybe, yeah, with Hopper, this is it. This is first I use, uh, with Hopper and another fill in space. Yeah. Fill in space. Still in space. Maybe I write it not. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is excellent. No, this is their company. Still in space, get out box. Yeah. Here is it. Library. Yeah, this is their library and this library is really good. So these websites, I use these two websites. Uh, what else? I should, let's go next. Uh, can we send our works and you log, look them and tell us which course is good for us? Uh, you can write me on the Instagram. This is, uh, this is me. You can find me and write me there and I will try to answer you something. Okay. Uh, thank you so much. Uh, you left your chair for you left your chair for me so sweet. I'm not sure what does it mean. I hope everything's good with your chair. You're a great Rena Camp. Yeah, we are. We are greatest. <laughs> that's true, really, that's true. Uh, and we try to 
be really give you greatest knowledge uh, in the world about architectural visualization and we will become better and better so grow up with us grow with us slava ukraini Groem slava how long uh, it is it safe for rendering how long it is safe for rendering what what does it mean i'm not sure I'm not sure what what do you mean so please answer in a different way thank you master thank you to be with us I work with um uh, 2080 do you prefer uh, 3090 ti for if storm or waiting 4090 I use uh, 3090 without ti and I have um I I I I have planned to buy 4090 but in in the future because to be honest 3090 that is absolutely enough for my goal. Thank you Daniel you are amazing. I hope so. Uh how to do good interior light with without being too bright with a highlight or too dark with a outlight. Um uh, I'm not sure what do you mean. I'm not sure what do you mean. Um, um, I, I, I think you should uh work with a lower exposure this is general things in in this situation but i uh, you know this is common uh idea because um i i i should i should look to your scene and i should check exactly your renders because this is common idea but maybe in your situation something different um, one more idea to you please watch our uh, previous workshop this workshop this is a uh, white uh, interior with a lot of light with a huge window with a similar situation you describe maybe this is uh, something Ha will help you okay I tried using photographic and normal camera and changing light value and nothing works it depends on your situation welcome to the course what that's what I can tell you because on the course I can work with your uh, situation with your um, uh, advantages and disadvantages exactly your so I can your I can work with you directly and i can can fix your problem because our course is uh, absolutely uh, unique because this is not pre-recorded this is real life course when i comment just imagine daily comments of your work daily comments during five weeks instead of weekends of course daily comments I try and and you will get access to all other course participants uh, comments too so you will be able to check all their mistakes because in the some moments their mistake will be in your scene uh, could you share with us some websites about foggy saturated city landscape background just shutter stock shutter speed and uh, pinterest sometime behance but i know on the behance you will find more um more computer graphy computer generated images not uh, not photographies but photographer but you should uh take like references exactly photography photographies 
city view yeah i understand you but you should find and you know that is most important for each uh artist think uh to grow with your references because uh because that is really not because i am lazy because you should know how to find the reference and which reference is really good for your work uh, exactly with your style with your hand with your understanding of the picture but much better than your daily work usual work does everyone on the course will be able to have feedback from you or depends on the package you you buy no uh everybody no um uh first uh first package uh, doesn't get access to my comments just for live streams so uh second uh, second package that is with a with the comments you you can check um, you can check on the website uh i have every time i have problem to take beautiful composition in the camera but every time still ugly composition with me haha <laughs> do you make a tutorial for interior sand how to how we make multiply composition come no this is um this is a smart Think you try to go from the, from the back. You should think a little bit in a different way. You should decide what exactly. Look, you work. You your uh, you usually work from like with a with the whole ready scene with the whole ready lighting, and you try to find some nice camera position. It works in a different way. First of all, you should, before you will start model anything, you should decide what exactly you will show on each frame. And then you should put the camera in this uh, place and detail um, all the geometry exactly for this frame, for each of these frames. And of course, that will be... Um, uh, much higher level of detailization of composition of light and shadow composition color composition of each of these frames in this case this is not you can say oh this is more much more difficult no much more difficult model everything uh, in your scene and don't Ha and, and have no idea what exactly you will show in the frame you spend much more time for modeling and you will show and you will never show this on the frame this is much more difficult and much more longer much uh, s much more smart that is choose which camera what exactly you will show in each frame in the beginning of the work in this case you will know how much frames you will have in the end and you will know composition of each of these frames because you can find um, reference for each of these frames you 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 can know all advantages and disadvantages of each of these frame so this is much more um, smart idea and yes we will talk about this on the course and i already record new uh, small block about animation it already done and already available for course participants um tutorial for interior scene and how we made multiply composition come uh i already answer uh could you teach us how to mix render with a real photo in a future workshop we have plan about this um uh, dear daniel when we learn how to make these great images by you 
you can learn how to make money uh, and get more jobs. Um, you know, um, I'm not sure what you're asking about. Uh, if you're asking about, uh, can I teach you how to get more money? Unfortunately, we are not business coaching. So you should understand this. I know a lot of tutors try to sell you some idea. You After our course, you will be able to get $3,000 per week and you will work just two hours a day. We are not about this. And no, excuse me. We are about art. We are about computer graphics. We are about really nice pictures. We, to be honest, to be uh, artist, that is hard work. This is not a simple thing for everybody. Uh, this is not a simple thing for, I don't know, for your dog. Unfortunately, that's not impossible. This is not possible. Uh, this, uh, to become really great artist, possible only if you work hard. And if you're ready to work hard, welcome to Render Camp. If you want to, to work two hours a day and do nothing and get a lot of money, and if you think uh, computer graphics, this is about it, unfortunately, no. We are not about this. Uh, so, hello from Turkmenistan. Hello, guys. Uh, so, that's all for today. Thank you, guys. That was a great pleasure to talk with you during three hours, almost three hours with Pant here. And I'm really happy to be there with you. And probably that's all. Today was a uh, last workshop in this year. And uh, we will see you next year. And uh, we... Uh, prepare for you really great information on the course and uh, on the future webinars. So be with us, with us, and if you apply today uh, till the midnight, uh, till the midnight, we will propose you special price offer for this professional visualization course. Please do not lost this chance because we can't give you um, uh, the same offer next time. Next time offer will be not so great. <laughs> so that's all for today, guys. Thank you and see you on the course or on the next future workshop. Thank you and see you next time.